Southwest aircraft 459, copy radio. Iceman, that 459. My name is Thomas Stevenson. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and I am a Southwest de-icer. On a busy day, they'll start us, say 5 a.m. You could be out here up in the bucket for an hour, two hours. It just depends on how busy you are, how bad it's snowing, how long it's taking us like, to get the planes done. Usually when, uh, when the process we have to de-ice, you know, it's usually like one of those, ah, oh, man, here we go, another, you know, 30 minute or another hour delay. We try to do it quick, but we, we also do it we make sure we do, the, we do everything, we do it right, and we, we get the job done. I'm Jamie Martinez. Our call sign is Iceman. When the aircraft come to the pad, they call for the Iceman. That's us. We try to get as close to the aircraft as we can when we're driving. Obviously, it makes it a lot easier for the sprayer. Uh, the farther off the sprayer is away from the aircraft, he loses temperature in the glycol. It's pretty clean. So if we can get him tight to the aircraft, it makes the, the icing fluid more effective. But to do that, we have to have our head on a swivel. We have to be aware of everything. We have to be aware of how close the front end of the truck is to the engine, to the fuselage, how close the back end is to the fuselage of the engine when we're swinging down the, the leading edge of the front wing or the horizontal or vertical stabilizers. And in the meantime, we're still watching the bucket man. The buck man, bucket man, the sprayer, he's constantly moving in the bucket. So if he's moving back or forth, we have to make sure that we know where he's at so that we're not putting him into a leading edge or into the winglet of an aircraft and causing damage to the aircraft. You'll uh, tell him, hey, can you scoot up a little bit? Or hey, can you move back a little bit? Just general conversation about movements and stuff like that. Because being up there so high, it gets really windy as well. So the wind's blowing you, the truck's moving, you're rocking back and forth. Um, yeah, you're in the elements, it's snowing, you can barely see sometimes, so you definitely Got to trust the guys in the, you know, driving, and you got to trust yourself too. And once you get the hang of it, it's real easy. You just, you're looking. You can kind of tell the different colors of the ice, and if there's ice present or snow, and you're basically just looking to get it off. It definitely gets cold, but I mean that's something you kind of uh, signed up for when you, when you when you took the job. So just being outside, you're active, you're in the sun. Though you're in the elements, I think, uh, you know, it's still fun. We still have a lot of fun out here. We enjoy being out here and quite honestly if you look behind me you see the front range I mean who has an office like this you know I've never been the type of guy that wants to sit in a cubicle in the, on the 13th floor 14th floor of a building somewhere uh, this is what I love this is what I love doing this is why I like to be out here if we have a fully loaded uh, 737 700 leaving here you know we have 140 plus people passengers on board plus crew members I mean that that is an awesome responsibility while we're de-icing the aircraft. For me personally, and I know a lot of the de-icers and the icemen out here, we really try to consider every airplane as having a family member on that airplane. And that's what we keep in mind to make sure that we're doing the job correctly. Icemen, that's 459. All vehicles can come in our field of the aircraft. Please contact ramp at 119 to partial the pad. Have a nice flight. Thanks, have a good day, guys. We want every plane and every passenger to not only depart Denver, safely but to arrive in the downline city safely.